the surge of the pandemic, the holiday hustle and bustle, it's going to look a little different this year. So Google found that online shopping is more highly searched in 2020 than any time in Google history. And there are plenty of things you can do to shop safely while online. Joining me now is Google technology expert Molly Vandenberg. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Lauren. Thank you so much for having me. So what are the tips and tools to protect yourself online? The holiday shopping season is upon us and for folks, online security is really important. And so my top tip is always to make sure that you're using unique passwords. A lot of us are creating different accounts on different websites, possibly to join their loyalty program or get a promo code. And we can fall into the habit of using the same password over and over again because it's easy to remember. But that's kind of like using the same key to get to your house and your car and your office. So you want to switch it up. But if you're like me and need some help, one thing I recommend is using a password manager because what that's going to do is suggest and save strong passwords for you. So that way you don't even have to think about it or remember all of them. That's right. I usually recommend LastPass as a free and easy password manager because it is hard to keep track of them. So, you know, what about your holiday spending? Listen, it is so easy to go overboard. What is an easy way to keep track? It is really easy to go overboard. And my family makes fun of me because I'm always making big, long spreadsheets to track my holiday spending. But thankfully for me, there are a couple of tools to make it a little bit easier. And some of them are right in the Google Pay app which if you're familiar with Google Pay, it's our safe and contactless way to pay, which I know is top of mind for people this season too. But we brought in some new features where you can link up all of your accounts. That way you can get a full picture of your finances. But then what you're also gonna be able to do that I think is really cool is search those different transactions. So for example, if you wanna be reminded of how much you spent at Target last week because you know that you picked up a lot of gifts, you can do that. Or if you're like me and you're a little bit of a sucker for all of the holiday drinks at coffee shops, you could even search for something like lattes in December. And that will bring up all of those transactions that fit the bill. So that way you can really get a sense of your spending and how you're doing it in different categories, which I think is really critical to staying aware of your habits. So that way you can tweak them and stay on track. Yeah, the lattes in December, I'm, I would be scared to look at that number for sure. But accountability, that's what matters. Any other final tips, tricks as we head into the holiday season? Yes, a couple that I'd recommend. Number one is that if you're not sure what to get for the people on your list, we did pull together a whole host of trending products at g.co slash gift guide. And that will give you ideas for the kids or the chef or the techie in your life. And then the other thing I love is the price insights module in Google Shopping. A lot of people are offering sales and deals right now, but it can be tough to know how good that deal really is. When you're looking up a particular item on Google, if you click on the shopping tab, it'll show you whether prices are low, typical, or high for that product. So you can make sure that you are actually getting a good buy. That is awesome. I, you know what? I use that feature when I book flights because it'll tell you through Google is this normal? Is this not? So that's absolutely very, very helpful. Molly, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Back to you.